Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Who doesn't want a rose flower blooming in their garden? Rose is a majestic flower and often described as the king of flowers. This vlog will help you to understand how to look after roses and care for them. First thing to keep in mind is site, means where to keep them and when to plant. Rose craves for sun and at least 6 hours of sunlight a day is ideal for them. In hot climate, roses do best when they are protected from the hot afternoon sun, whereas in cold climate, keeping a rose bush next to a south or west facing wall can help minimize winter freeze damage. Get the timing right. Roses are best planted in the spring or in fall. Planting early enough in fall gives the roots enough time to get established before the plants go dormant over the winter. Plant roses in rich, well-draining soil with moisture retention capacity. When planting rose, mix organic matter such as compost, peat moss and other organic matter. Rose plants Watering needs vary based on weather and soil type, so always check soil with your finger and then water. Water enough to create consistently moist soil, not overly wet, not bone dry. To prevent diseases, keep foliage dry, especially if you must water late in the day. Use a watering can with a long spout or watering wand pointed directly at the soil. Roses growing in sandy soil will need more watering than those in heavier clay soils. Potted roses may be watered on alternate days in summer or even every day. For an impressive show of flowers, a rose bush needs to be fertilized regularly. Organic methods provide a slow steady supply of nutrients. Monthly application of compost, composted manure and other organic and natural fertilizers like seaweed solutions, cow dung works well. Supply the right balance of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium and other minor nutrients. Add banana peels, coffee grounds and tea scraps as they are a good source of nutrients for rose plant. Add 2 to 3 inch layer of coarse organic mulch around roses. Mulch helps reduce foliage disease on roses because it reduces the amount of water splashing into leaves. Mulch will also help keep soil cool and help retard weed growth. Materials such as uh, chopped leaves, straw, grass clippings, wood chips, shredded bark, sawdust and even paper makes good mulches. Roses need regular pruning. Major pruning should be done in early spring and late winters. For all roses, start by removing any dead or brown stems 
and always cut spent blooms. You can lightly prune your roses all season long to keep them groomed. Check frequently for insects or diseases. Most common rose disease are powdery mildew and black spot. The telltale signs of powdery mildew include leaves that curl and twist and the development of a white powdery down on the leaves. To avoid powdery mildew, water plants at ground level in the morning since wet leaves provide the perfect growing environment for this pruning a rose bush also allows air to circulate through the foliage and also prevents this powdery growth black spot is a waterborne fungal disease it appears in circular black or brown spots on the top sides of the leaves. It starts towards the bottom of a bush and works its way up, eventually causing defoliation. Prevent this disease the same way you prevent the powdery mildew by improving air circulation around and through the plant and watering at ground level. Pesky insects that like to feed on rose bushes include aphids, Japanese beetles, spider mites and saw flies. Most of these can be controlled with neem oil or an insecticidal soap. 